Hello everyone, let's understand how can we create a ribbon chart. Before we get into the technicalities, how to create a ribbon chart, let's understand the context, why exactly do we require it. Now let's have a look on this example over here. You see the sales data for a supermarket across three cities, which are Delhi, Mumbai and Patna. Okay, so these three cities are available over here. Now what you observe over here is in the month of January, Patna is the city where the supermarket has highest sell. But is that true for the month of February? No, that's not true because more than Patna, Mumbai has the sales. Then why Patna is at the top? Same goes for March. Delhi has sales more than Patna, but still Patna is at the top while Delhi has the bottom while it should be at the top, right? So this is making the things, you know, little meaningless, right? Because no matter how the sales is performing in each of the city, one city is always going to be at the top. One category is always going to be at the top. Now, imagine if you get a solution where these boxes shift as per their performance. And that's exactly what can be solved with the help of ribbon. Now, if I just transform this chart in the form of ribbon chart, this is what you're going to get. Now, if you observe over here, Look at this. Patna city has the highest sell in the month of March, sorry, January, and that's why it is at the top. Now, in the month of Feb, it is the second highest, and that's where you see at the second rank. And in the month of March, still it is at the second. Look at Delhi. Delhi in here, in the column chart, you see Delhi at the bottom, despite of having the highest sell. But in the ribbon chart, you have it at the top. So this is the problem which gets solved when you start using a ribbon chart. Now is the time when I should show you how to create a ribbon chart. So let's come back over here and here we get the data and here we have the visualization pane. Here you can find the ribbon chart and once you get this, you can expand this over here and the date column I'm going to take and put it into the axis and the total column i'm going to take and put that into the y axis okay now this is what we get now i just need to you know do this thing so this is showing as column chart because we have only one category we need to put city also so i'm going to put city in the legend now here is what you get next thing which comes is making it as you saw that in the example so that is cosmetic part which you can adjust so first of all it is showing the data for the entire year and in the example i showed you data for three months only so for that to filter that what you can do is you can create a slicer from here here i got the slicer and i'm going to use date into that and i just need to keep it specific to till march 31st this is it right now i can see the data till March 31st only. Now the next thing which I need to do is show the data labels on this. And this is that you can do from here. Just make it a little bigger. Let's make it a little bigger. Right in the values, you're gonna increase the font size for the data label, maybe this, and then just make it bold. This is it. If you want to play around the color of these ribbons, you can also do that. So you have the options to play around the ribbon colors. I just, I'll just show you over here. Now here you can play around the ribbon colors. Now you see this, the color has been changed. So there are a lot of formatting which you can do to make it, uh, you know, make it visually appealing. But the main problem statement which we need to learn over here is it is, sol it is solving the ranking problem which we have in, in, in column chart right this problem gets solved in the ribbon i just hope that it was interesting for you and easy for you to understand just in case if you get any question put that into the comment section i'll be more than happy to help you on that thank you once again wish you